Okay, so while I'm actually filming this video, I'm actually also playing Pokemon Go. I have an incense running and trying to look for a shiny Grimer and a shiny Geodude from the Kanto event. But anyway, this is actually a PSA video. We actually received uh, PSA returns number 17 and 18 at the same exact time, so I actually have two orders right now. But I'm gonna be doing, for this video, it's only gonna be uh, PSA returns number 17. And then later on we'll do um, another video for 18 because that way it gives me some time to organize these cards it's a lot of cards in each order now uh, for let me see for order number 17 it's 134 cards yeah 134 Ooh, there's actually a magic card nearby so let me just catch this real quick and then let's get onto the first box so they're actually taped this time so I'm gonna have to cut them well every time we open another box I'm gonna cut it and then take a look at it as you guys can see it's sealed so I have no idea what the grades are so we're gonna find out together right now so let's get this first box opened up and see what we can get okay first box is cut There they are. First box on the side. Worry about that later. First card we have is a base set two. Alakazam. PSA eight. Okay, strong start for a vintage card. Ooh, there's a bit of a glare, so let me just oh what? Actually, yeah. Okay, so not bad. First one. Next we have a Wigglytuff from Jungle, PSA 9, very nice. There is a lot of vintage cards in this order, and there's actually three cards we're, we're actually pretty excited about, and can't wait to see what we got on them. PSA 9, almost start, oh wow, I actually thought this would get a 10. Why does it get a 9? Oh, there's some whiting. Okay. I must have missed the whiting edges. Okay, PSA 9. Because non hollows, they should be a little easier to grade. I can understand the hollows. Next, we have a Mew. PSA 7 on Expedition. Ouch, but it was a Mew. I remember that this one wasn't. Yeah, it's not in the best shape, so it was PSA 7. This makes sense, but it was a Mew, though. So that's why that was sent out. Next one we have is a. First edition Machamp. Centering's a little off, but we got a PSA 9. Wow. Beautiful. Now we have a Dragonite from the uh, movie promo. For the fir I was going to say Pokemon, the first movie. And this is a PSA 9. Very nice. Okay. Vintage cards we can always... Look forward to eights and nines. Wow, our first 10 and it's an Electabuzz. Movie promo as well, wow. The whole set is actually sent in this and looks like our next Pokemon is a seal from the instance. And then we have Pikachu movie promo, PSA 10, wow. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Japanese CP6. Surfing Pikachu, PSA 10. Wow. Japanese cards actually really easy to grade. Look, really excited about those grades as well. The only way it's going to drop is if it's not like... If you open it from the pack and it's already been played, then yeah, it's going to get a lower grade. But usually when you open it, it's, it has a high chance of getting a 10. First edition Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket, PSA 9. Okay, I know these, I already see the next two, but um, I know this is probably going to be a bad one because I did say this is my, for my collection, so. Skeptile Reverse Hollow, it's a PSA 5, which I'm okay with, I just wanted this one to get graded. So that one is okay, as well as this, oops, Torchic, I believe this is also a PSA 5, yes. As you guys can see, there's a lot of scratches on it, and yeah. Waiting, but 
yeah, these were reverse hollows and not easy to come by anymore. So those are going to be put on the side because I'm going to figure those out later. Now we got a Mudkip Blackstar promo number 18, PSA 8. Okay. Now we have Typhlosion from EX Sandstorm, PSA 7. Charizard from Flashfire, PSA 10. Very nice. Kabu Tops, first edition, PSA 9, um, PSA 8, my bad, from Fossil. Okay, here's the first one. I already see the card. What the heck? How? Uh, they, I know they grade Charizard brutally, but ow. Okay, we got a PSA 3. Yeah, um, Charizard. If I can see what, maybe I missed something. Oh, there's a lot of whiting in the back. That's okay. But I thought this would get a five based on other cards that got a five in this condition. But okay, we'll just put this on the side for as well because I don't know what to do with that. Okay, Charizard Hollow. PSA 7. That's base set right there. That makes sense. Okay. Now we have a another Charizard, but this one's a PSA 6, which is also okay. The centering's off. I believe this one had some. Yeah, there's a nick on top. So this one makes sense. PSA 6. There's no space on the table, so I'm just putting the low grades down. The ones I want to keep, I'm just going to get those sleeved up later. Oh, yeah. Japanese T-Tar. PSA 8 from Neo. It's a Neo series. I believe it's Neo Destiny or something. But still, very nice card. Pretty even stacks right now. And then we got Kingdra Hollow. PSA 6 for Neo Genesis. Ooh, ouch. Mm, this one's probably going to go in my collection too. Okay. Next box. We just finished the first box. But ouch, the Charizards. Those hurt. That really hurts. Okay, let's get this next box slip open. Okay, that's done. But there's actually another card we I'm looking forward to. And I don't mind if that one gets a lower grade. Because I did mention that in the submission video, if anyone remembers. How? Mega Charizard EX from Flashfire PSA 4. Okay, th oh, there's dents on this. Oh. Should have taken a closer look at the light. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, I did. S I remember now. I did say if it was a Charizard, I'll still send it out. So that's probably what happened. Okay, PSA 4. Onward and upward. PSA 9, Belaine's Charmeleon. From Gym Challenge, PSA 9. Yeah, like I said, you can't win them all, so not too bad. It's always about the overall performance. So let's see what happens. Yes! We got the shiny version of Darkrai GX as a PSA 10. This is a promo card, but it's also the alternate art, so that's why it's 88A. Okay, that's very nice. Now we have Entit PSA 9. That's the GX form. Here comes a Japanese card. Mega Slowbro EX. PSA 10 from CP6. Japanese cards look really cool. PSA 9 Slowbro. See, that's what happens. Sometimes it rarely happens, but it does get a 9. 
Probably this one was played for. Because this did come from a binder. Most of these cards are from binders. So, PSA 9. And then here's the Spirit Link PSA 10. I was hoping I'd get a full set of them, but oh, what can you do? That's okay. Now, a unique card. This is actually a vending machine card. This one, I don't mind whatever grade it gets because this is a vintage card. Let's see. Ooh, it actually got an 8. So, 3 Deck Battle Series 3. That is nice. Another Japanese card. Magneton CP6 PSA 10. Okay, and Ditto PSA 9 from Fossil. Okay, the next card is actually a World Champions. <laughs> I was crazy enough to grade one. It actually looks pretty cool in the case, to be honest. So, I forgot what this was. Let's see. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay. It's Blaziken EX, but the best part is a PSA 10. <laughs> Okay. That made my day. <laughs> or night. Uh, Charmander, CP6, PSA 10. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get a 10. That's cool. Um, okay, Pikachu. C uh, from CP6 again. PSA 10. First edition, Sand Slash from Fossil, PSA 9, not bad for our first edition. Oh yeah, there we go, now we're talking. Imposter, Professor Oak, PSA 10, wow. Let's keep it going, there's a lot of base set cards in this. PSA 9, Dugan, now that it's in the case, I can see it's a little off-centered. Electabuzz EX from Ruby and Sapphire, PSA 8. Misty's Poliwag, PSA 9. Misty's Horsey, PSA 10. Huh, that's really strange. I don't know how the Misty's Poliwag got a 9, but that's okay. I must have missed something. And then another Horsey, PSA 10. Okay, PSA 8, uh, Gyarados from Base Set 2. Okay, let me see if I can push these back a bit because I'm running out of space. I don't mind the background falls, I'll reset it after. But, okay, well, this box is really light, so this must have my packing slip and receipt, which I'm looking for right now. So let's slice it open. Ah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna take out the packing slip, but uh, this is disappointing. We're gonna find out what it is right now. Let me show you guys so you guys know I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, see, there's one card that's not graded. There must be a reason for that. Let's find out. Flareon, Jungle, PSA 10. What? That is nice. Okay. We're just going to go in order. So, when we hit the card that's not graded, we'll find out what it is right now. Light P Vaporeon, PSA 8 from Neil Destiny. Neo Genesis Pikachu, PSA 9. I can see the centering is really off. And now, Lucario EX, Full Art from Furious Fist, PSA 8. And the card that is not graded for some strange reason. Card inside, card inside. Well, let's find out what it is. 
a Flareon. Return no grade, no charge. No holder. What's wrong with it? Wait, this car is really clean. Oh, this card is actually a different language. This is actually Spanish. But still, I thought it would grade it. What? They say they grade any card, so why wasn't this card graded? Well, I guess either we try again or I'm just gonna leave it as is. We'll see. Strange. Okay, next up. Pre-release, Misty Seedra, PSA 6, because it was a pre-release, I already knew that this was going to get really low, so. But it was a pre-release card, so that's why it was graded. Pikachu, Jungle, PSA 8, ugh, that hurts. And then we have Lapras from Fossil, PSA 9. Okay. I don't get it. So, they usually grade foreign cards. I don't know why they didn't grade the Flareon. I'm probably going to have to try that again, I guess. Since I did send this as a Pokemon special, maybe that's why. But still, that doesn't make any sense. It should have been graded. Next card is Japanese, but it is a CP6 Kaferi, PSA 10. Okay, there we go. The 10 is picking up again. Hoopa, Shining Legends, PSA 10. Lucario, ugh. Ultra Prism, Reverse Hollow, PSA 9. What? I must have missed something. Pipluff, Ultra Prism, PSA 10. I'll take that for sure. Horror Cat, PSA 10, Shining Legends. Zekrom, Shining Legends, PSA 10. Raiko, Shining Legends, PSA 10. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mysterious, I mean, unidentified fossil somehow got an 8. Ugh. Ultra Prism, Reverse Hollow again. Magic Carp never fails. From Crimson Invasion, PSA 10. <laughs> I think this is like the fourth or fifth one I have graded. Needle King, PSA 9, Reverse Hollow from Evolutions. That one's okay, I'll take it. And then Slowbro EX, the English one from Evolutions, PSA 10. And we have uh, Rushiram, PSA 10, Shining Legends. Okay, it's a Ponyta. Wait, is that shiny? No, there's no shiny Ponyta. Okay, now we have Shaman. Ultra Prism, PSA 10, that is so cute. Hoopa again, PSA 10, Shining Legends. And what's this? Shaman again, but different version. Shining Legends, PSA 10. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Mount Coronet, PSA 9. From Ultra Prism. So a lot of these cards, um, all, most of these cards will be in the eBay store. Link is down in the description down below. And then uh, Infernape is a PSA 9. But there's going to be a lot of cards that are probably going to be discounted because some of these are not. They're not really collectible unless they're P well, not really valuable. Unless they're PSA 10, basically. 
But if it's like a vintage card, those are the ones you want. Any grades, okay. So, Dark Vaporeon. Like the unidentified fossils, one of them. It's just, eh. PSA 5. My champ. But this one's okay. First edition, it's from Basic. So, we're just gonna put that on the side again because I have no space on the table. And this is a tearjerker. How did I get a three? I don't know. Oh, okay, I do know now. I see it. It's been so long. We sent these orders out in June, so we barely got it back in September. Because PSA has been backed up, and now they have increased their prices for submission, which I have noticed. What? Uh, okay. Where's the case? What's? Where's the case like this? Oh, there's a crease on the car. I missed it. Ugh, I didn't see that. But still, oh, the case is pretty dirty. Well, this one's going to probably be... Uh, oh, I'll think of what to do with that one later. Either I'm probably going to have to contact PSA and have that one cleaned up a bit on the case. Or I'm just going to leave it as is. Either way, I'm still thinking. Because that's the first one with the dirty case. Okay. Next one. We have two more boxes left after this one. So this one. See, this one's really bad condition. This one is real. I already know what this is already. And this is the card we were looking for. Any grade on this card is fine. The reason why I know for sure is Shadowless because I remember there was one that was so damaged. And this is the one that's really damaged, really creased and stuff. So any grade will do. Let's see what it is. A PSA 2, but that's fine for a Gyarados. First edition Shadowless. Wow. Because it's hard to determine a value for these cards. Unless they're graded, because the condition was so bad, I couldn't figure it out. Now that we got a PSA grade on it, it's easier. So, very good. Now, PSA 9 again, for some weird reason. Dark Vaporeon. It's probably the centering. But I need to take a closer look at it later. Now we got Zapdos, CP6 again, PSA 10, and that is beautiful. PSA 9, Kangaskhan from, Foss, uh, from Jungle, very nice as a PSA 9. That one is beautiful as well, but I can tell that was also a pack fresh card and well kept, so I was hoping to get a 10 on that one. But anyway, Mew, CP6, PSA 10. Salamence, Delta Species, PSA 9, nice! I think I said this one was probably a 7 or 8, and they got a 9. Wow. Wow. I'll take it. That is for sure. Ooh, a Geodude. Nice. Uh, is this shiny? Nope. Okay. Moving on. Venusaur. PSA 7 base set. I'll take that as well. That goes perfect with that Charizard. So now we just gotta get another Blastoise. Okay. Articuno. First edition fossil and the best part of all. PSA 10. Shout out to my fellow Mystic players. Wow. Okay, that is beautiful. Entei. Oh, finally! How many have I sent out of this? It's been a while. But they always get nines. Yeah, they always get nines. I never got a ten. We finally got an Entei Reverse Hollow promo card. PSA 10. Wow. Oh, that made my day. 
I completely forgot that was in there too. PSA 9 Mewtwo from Holland Phantoms. That is crazy. That one's good. I remember I said 8 or 9 on this and it got the 9. There was no way it got a 10 because there, I think there was a whiting on the back a bit. And then we have Nine Tails from Dragon's Exalted, PSA 9. Also, an amazing card. Golem Fossil. Ugh. These cards are not worth <clears throat> excuse me. Getting nines on sometimes. But we'll see. There's a 10. Did I scrutinize on most of these to make sure they got tens? I don't know. Why we probably got a stingy grader. But that's fine. Sabrina Zabra, PSA 10. That one's from Jim. Neo Revelations, my bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it gets some water after this. Um, Misty Psyduck, PSA 9. ESP is the attack from Jim Challenge. And we have. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side real quick. I'll be back in like 10 seconds. Finally got an EV Evolution that's from Rocket and it's PSA 10. That's really good. Because we got so many Dark Vaporeons out and it only came back 9s. So this is the first PSA 10. Oddish Team Rocket PSA 10. Okay. This is one of those cards I was debating not to send out and I'm so glad I sent it out. First edition Team Rocket Dark Muck PSA 10. What? Let's keep this going. Buzzwool GX PSA 10 from Crimson Invasion. Okay, that's what we want to see. 10s over exceeding everything else. PSA 10. Dark Necrozma, Sun and Moon promo number one, two, three. Okay, that's good. That's Donwing Necrozma. Right? Yeah, it's Donwing. And we have more Charizards, but I know this one was off center a bit. But PSA eight, it's a Hollow version. So from Evolutions, I'll take it. I believe there might be one more. I just remember this one was like loaded with Charizards. <laughs> Because of the base set versions. So I decided to send in a lot of Charizards. It's been a while, so it's been like three months. I haven't looked at it yet. So I don't know what the grades are, so and I just haven't checked what was in the submission itself. So it's just more fun this way. And then we got some good surprises and some really, really strange surprises. But anyway. Bulbasaur Shining Legends, PSA 10. Crawdot, EX Dragon, PSA 6, which is okay. PSA 9 Jump Bluff from Neo Genesis, I believe, in Japanese, PSA 9, so that's really good. Zora GX from Shining Legends, PSA 10. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, this is upside down. PSA 10 uh, Mewtwo GX from Shining Legends. Raichu GX from Shining Legends as well, PSA 10. Another one. We have another Shiny Dark Ride GX, PSA 10. Great. I can believe we got there was two. Pokia GX Forbidden Light PSA 10. Reggie Gigas um, Alternate Art. So this was a promo 84A uh, PSA 9. There we go. Locked in. Oh yeah, we got a 10. Nice. 
Let me see if I can move some stuff around because I know I'm like really, really close. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Oops. So that way we can push more. There we go. That's enough. Okay. Okay, let's continue. More shadow. GX Burning Shadows. PSA 9. Okay, let's see. We still got a lot more to go. PSA 9, first edition, Neo Genesis, Total Dial, PSA 9. It's first edition though. That is the main part. Giovanni's Magic Carp. This one I was re really, really hoping to get a 10 on because I know about the condition is really good. I must have missed. Oh, there was a nick on it now. How did that get? That must have been there for a while. Oh, right. Anyway, PSA 9. Skarmory, PSA 9, Neo Genesis, Japanese. Uh oh. It looks like it's about to catch up again. Mew, there is the Mew. Uh, Pokemon League promo, PSA 9. That's okay, it's still a 9. Light, Azumarill, Neo Des Destiny, PSA 7. This is in the way. Mr. Mime Jungle PSA 7. Black Kirum PSA 9. This is XY promo number 160. Magania. Oh, yes, this one got an 8. Neo Genesis. Beautiful. And the community event for Pokemon Go is going to be Shiny Chikorita. Hopefully, everyone has already stocked up on their Pokeballs, lures, and everything. Because that's going to be pretty fun. Never listen to eBay sellers sometimes when you're buying lots. Because they said this would be a guaranteed. 10 and I already knew it was gonna be but I just want to see what it was this is a 8 but still Charizard and yeah it's still a beautiful card though honestly that's a seal popped out because I just dropped another incense but either way it was a complete binder lot and a lot of those cards actually came out really well Minus the Charizard, so. But still, PSA 8 is still good. <gasps> what? Okay, that makes up for it. We got a... Somehow we got a Frowligator premium file. <laughs> Neo Genesis PSA 10. Okay, that is good. Okay, that makes up for that Charizard. Because those two came up... It came in the same binder. Last but not least... Let's finally see what it is. Okay, because this will conclude PSA returns number 17. And then we'll probably do number 18 sometime on the weekend. Because my busy schedule is not going to give me enough time to organize everything. No, how do you get a 9? Okay, Espeon GX Full Art, PSA 9. Either way, it's still a beautiful card, so I'm okay with that. Skeptile, Ancient Origins, EX, PSA 9. What? The movie promo on Mewtwo, PSA 10. <sighs> okay, I'm speechless. Uh oh, breakpoint. Ugh, PSA 7, how? Okay, but anyway, continue. Overall, we're still doing really well. Steelix, EX, Steam Siege, 
PSA 9 full art. Okay, down to the wire. We only have a few more to go. How do you get... Okay. King is Khan EX Flash Fire Full Art PSA 7. Mega Skeptile EX Ancient Origins Full Art PSA 7. Even with that 7, it still looks like a great card. Umbreon EX Fates Collide PSA 8. And that's a full art though, so that's okay. Glaceon EX Full Art Fates Collide PSA 9. That one would have been really good to get. Both of those would be really good to get 10s on, but unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. PSA 9 Secret Print of Alakazam EX from Fates Collide. Volcanion EX Secret Print Steam Siege somehow got a 7. Okay. Mewtwo EX Secret Rare Breakthrough PSA 9. Oh man, there are the nines are about to catch up. There's only a few more cards left, and then they can either surpass or keep going. Okay, generations. Charizard EX PSA 6. I don't know how that happened. But still a Charizard. Articuno. Oh yeah. Generations. PSA 9. I'll take it. Full art. Oh, another Charizard. What is it? What is it? PSA 9. Reverse Hollow. Evolutions. Charizard. Beautiful. Evelto, Shiny Legends, someone got a 9. That one should have been a 10, I don't know. But anyway, that's fine, that's fine. Keldeo, uh, Shiny Legends, PSA 10. I know I'm a little groggy right now, it's actually 1am here, so I'm pretty tired. And then, Alolan, Executor from Forbidden Light, Reverse Hollow, PSA 10. That is sick. I remember pulling that too, that one was actually pulled. And then Aurorus, Forbidden Light again, PSA 10. Two cards left. Oh, we have another one. Huh. Oh, I don't know. PSA 9, Charizard E. I mean, not EX. Evolutions, PSA 9. Okay, we'll take that. Last but not least, guys. And 10's actually won this round. We're only short by a few, and that's okay. The last and final card will make or break this. Not really. It is a Mega Steelix PSA 9 Full Art from Steam Siege. That concludes PSA Returns number 17. We have a lot of 9's, a lot of 8's. I mean, 9s and 10s. We have a lot of 9s and 10s, which I'm pretty happy about. There's the stack. It's just off by a little bit. See? That's it. And then we got 8s and 9s again. I mean, 8s and 7s, and then a bunch of lower grades. But some of those lower grades are actually really good. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Most of these cards will be listed in the eBay store. So, link is in the description down below. Once this video is posted, I'll start listing most of the cards already. So if you see anything you guys like, be sure to check out the store and remember all the prices are negotiable. But if some of them is going to be a little overpriced because, like I said, they're in my collection but there's always a price to take it out of my collection. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy your day, the rest of your day. I'll see you guys later. Also, um, if you like the video, please remember to like, comment, or subscribe for future videos. Also, for people that are watching this video or already subscribed to our channel, I will be doing the first giveaway pretty soon for this channel. So, look out for that video soon. But, because I'm still trying to figure out how to organize that giveaway. But, there is going to be a giveaway soon. So, stay tuned for that. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, now that that's on, we have a few eggs to hatch. I believe this is five eggs. 510 case. Ooh, first one's Snorlax. Let's 
see is it good uh, there we go under HP attack okay two step next well it's a little laggy Oh, the trap inch. Is it a good trap inch though? Let's see. Why does it keep doing this? There we go. HP. Uh, yeah. Probably just trade it. And then this one is another trap inch. Okay. Nope, this one's... Oh, it's probably... Perfect 10, maybe. So it'll be 10, 10, 10, so it'll be about 69? Or 60, yeah. Something like that. Percent. And then we have this one. Oh yeah, it's a lot of guitar. Is it good? Oh, 32 candy, that's perfect. And then I think this is the last egg, so it's oh, yes, it's a port gun. Definitely need that for when port gun Z comes out. Wonder attack, eh, not that good, but still, it's a good port gun. Yeah, that was all of them. Not bad. And then from the EV event so far, we have. Actually, we'll just do it. I'm just gonna enter that shiny. And then sort them out by number. As you guys can see, we have actually 11 total. So we have regular Eevee. Vaporeon, Vaporeon, since it's like. Wait, there we go. A bunch of Vaporeons. Only one Jolteon, which I had to trade for because. Since it's one out of three to get them, out of all eleven, we well we evolved ten of them. We did not get a guilty on. We got mainly Flareons and Vaporeons. So tomorrow I'm planning to go back get a few more uh, shiny Eevees so that we can evolve them into Glaceon, Leafeon when they come out. But Espeon and Umbreon first, and then Sylveon comes out later. So we'll need a total of five more. But not too bad for the hatch. Okay, so it's midnight. Time to get my reward. And then or
first right call out. Let's see what it is. It's going to two stop plus. I think this is like 93 to 98. Yes. You still need a volt pick? Oh, no. you, you got one already? Oh, okay. Is it? Is it? Everyone's in? No, I'm going in right now. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you have Burks. Yeah. So what's I'm Mewtwo's cat trait? I got him on the first ball that actually landed on him. I think it's double the other legendaries. So like 4%? Yeah, it didn't seem like yeah, a dark red ring. I think it was 6, wasn't it? Oh, now it's I'm 9. Sure. It used to be 6, but you know... Interesting. Yeah, here, I had to jump back out because I had to get rid of the Okay. 40 seconds. Now it's 10. My, in, my, my box is full. Okay, we're good. That's 11, so we good. I don't want this to be like a Reggie Steele deal. I guarantee one perfect. That's a strong guarantee. Okay, fine. If none of these come out as the 100% one, you have to release yours. I don't know what Eddie has here. What are these? Oh well, I'll guess on this one. I see two stars. We have enough people, it's okay. Yeah, I don't know. This is so fun. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, oh my god. That just That's wait, yeah. Is that four? Four, yes, oh, four. And two oh wow, two iPads. <laughs> I only have one account, these are my friends. Wow. <laughs> You want help attacking with those? Oh yeah, go for it. And you want to change? I'm not as experienced as you are. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 Careful. <laughs> yeah. I did four as well. Four or five. Yeah. yeah, five was my max. I like that dude in Japan with eleven on his bike. He did all 11 at the same time? I don't know, I haven't watched the video yet. There's a guy in Redlands that every community day has eight phones in a shoebox. What? Yeah. A shoebox? Yeah, like a shoebox. He has like eight iPhones just in there. They're all propped Mr. up. Mr. Six has them bolted on a board. <laughs> so many movies. Yeah. With hydro pumps. What's the charge move? Yeah. Oh, that's more. Yeah, because it gave us all flying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see who gets the perfect. See, not me. I didn't even get really all that. Good. At this point, they should just release a shiny Mewtwo. What happened to Eddie's? Oh no, no, no. I saw no. a story about a guy who wanted to be What the hell is that? Shiny as long as you attack, that should be fine. Yeah, he used the should be fine. I know, but look, that is ew. Have you ever seen that? His phone was cracked. I think that's what it is. Right? Oh, there you go. Oh, my God. Freaking heart attack. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get the friend bonus because I didn't go in with you, huh? Yeah. Oh. It doesn't matter. You caught it on the first That's good. It's better than Oh, it's boosted. Hold on, let's do it. Two to three twice. Two to three nine. What's the perfect power boost? Do it. Is it? Is it? No. It's not. Terrible. Oh my. Oh okay. Then they're garbage. They're all garbage. So well, the deal was you. They're all garbage. So the deal was you released your perfect, right? No, I didn't agree to that. Did anybody get any? No. No, they're all shit, aren't they? Anything above two? I think that's the highest. Oh, 39? No I've got a 46 on Thomas, that's it. Oh, there's a 47 on, this is that one. 
Oh, 47, I guess, is the best. Wait, 22, 47, what's yours? What was yours? Boom, pineapple. Yeah, I'm pineapple. Yeah, you know 24. what I'm doing with these? I'm just trading them between the counts just to make them uh, lucky. Uh, this one's got no internet connection. I don't know whose that is, but it's not going to the next part. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, God. We'll have you have a lucky? Do you have a lucky legendary yet? You should probably. Get I have those. two lucky perfect oh, ones. Oh, I got one. I have a lucky uh, latios. Yeah, mine was max defense too. What's the CP on 100% blue two? 275. 75. How do you throw with a cracked screen, Eddie? <laughs> and how you? Why is it? <laughs> Wait, did I see 300 golden raspberries? Yeah, it looks like it. Mm. I don't know. Seriously, what kind of you? maniac? <laughs> <laughs> We're all maniacs, in one way or another. It's okay. I don't know. I don't know where I ended up with 1,600 EV candies, but you should see his. <laughs> I'm 12,500. Yep, that sounds about. Good right. lord. Hey, you know what his name is, right? No. Why is Evie so cute? That's why. why. Oh, so cute. That's you, yeah. Quit jumping. Stop it. You're annoying. My thumb me. hits the crack of the screen and stops. Oh, that's terrible. You try this one. It's lagging like crazy. How do I use a charge team? Uh, so. You just gotta. Wow, I'm doing terrible. Yeah, really like you just gotta. Wow, I'm doing terrible here. Wow, this really doesn't like me today. Who's the count? Uh, I should stop playing that thing. Do you want to? Are you testing? Stop it. How come I can't? What is wrong with me and going on this item? This one's acting up like the. Uh, I don't even know how many balls are on here. I don't know either. Oh, there's one that... Oh, this one's 2246. Oh, just like yours. <laughs> Critical capture. Mine was weak. It was 2201, I think. Oh well, I'll get a stronger V2 next time. Okay, I'm good. I got them all. Where's uh, What happened with this one? I caught this one. Was it garbage anyway? Yeah. You don't want to? Oh, that was the last one. Okay, so this was from Captain Five Water Pokemon. We got a Poliwhirl. Whirl. While I'm playing the league as well. There we go. Okay, now I'm trying to catch a Poliwhirl. Who to ban? Apparently. Too bad. 
But the main objective is this. Let's see if it's a good. Alright, cool. Yeah, we have so many Entei, so I'm thinking, uh It's just so so, but stuff. Right, cool. We'll come back later on. So we just talk about candy. Why so aggressive? There we go. Doesn't matter. I throw in the berries. One, two, three. Pokeball. Nice. I don't think it's gonna be 90s, so it's gonna probably be 80s. Yeah, it's gonna be around 80s. And then we still need to walk on EV so we can complete the ripple in time. But anyway, on to the next. Game. Okay, which one should we select? We're gonna do Dragon Scale. Now let's see if this is a good right code. Okay. And now, oops, there we go. It is uh, 1400 even, okay. I don't even need to throw any berries. So I don't have anything on me. Two, and Nope. Okay. One, two, three, nice. Okay. Uh, it's probably going to be seventy eight or eighty. Percent, but still not too bad. Okay, so for today, or I should say tonight, let's see. We got so many lucky Pokemon. So, those are all from trades, which we we are really happy with. And then we got the Grand Ball Shiny, which I kind of rushed and evolved it since it was outside the event, and I was pretty excited to get the shiny. And then, in case you guys want to see the regular one, so here's the Pokedex, here's the shiny, and here's the shiny Gremble. And lucky form. Since I have the regular one lucky, I don't have the shiny one lucky, so the best way to see it is in the Pokedex. The lucky shiny, that's really nice. Okay, but anyway, now we can move on to the main event. We just finished the last quest on. The ripple and time so this should be giving me the celebi since that was catch 40 grass or psychic pokemon so basically some of them, most of them were two of the missions were walk uh ev 10 kilometers evolve ev to espion or umbreon and then uh so you have to do both uh i think there was a power up mission a rain mission and then leveling up so this time is not too bad as the Mew. We don't have to evolve a Gyarados or anything, but I had the candy ready. So I thought it was going to be a Whale Lord or a Swab Blue for 400 candy. I have those ready too, but I guess not in this mission. So not in this mythical quest, probably in the next one. But anyway, let's see what we got. Is it going to be a good Celebi? Okay, you must use aim or mode. Let's see it. There you are, Celebi. Nice. Nope. It should be the same. Oh, I missed. No. What? Oh, where is it now? Oh, that's pretty cool. This would have been nicer if I was like in the park or something, but it's late at night. I'm in my room, so. That's why it's pitch black. I'm using my uh, phone case cover. So my room is messy. And nope. Oh, I got it before it disappeared. 
Should be the third one, right? Let's see. Yep, third one. Same thing as Mew. So mythical Pokemon, you cannot trade. You only get one at the moment, and they're not. Um, you can't release them. So that's really nice. No, unfortunately. Uh, so it's gonna be like seventy and above, maybe. Ugh. Oh well, at least we have a Celebi, so very nice. I was hoping for a ninety or above so we can power it up, but oh well. At least we have the Celebi for the Pokedex. And going to the Pokedex, we're missing only Mr. Mime, which I have a friend that's helping me get that. And then for uh, Johto, I already have a deal with a friend for a Heracross, which I already gave him a, an Alolan uh, Vulpix, so he's going to give me this later on. So that will complete the Johto decks, actually. But we still don't know what happened to Smeargle because Smeargle hasn't been released yet. Selby looks really nice in here. And then for Hoenn, we're still missing Ninkata, uh, Ninjask, and Sheninja, which are not released yet. Lunatone, I'm still looking for that, even though it's in this region. For some reason, I'm not having good luck finding it. We're missing a Tropius. Um, what was it? We're missing Clampro, Huntail, and Gorobis, which are not out yet. Don't remember what this last one was. Oh yeah, yeah, Kecleon's not out yet. And Relicans, another one we're missing. So just a few more regionals, and we'll have all three Pokédex filled. But I think I'll get the Kanto and Johto filled first. But okay, I'm gonna end the clip here. See you at the next. Clip. Okay, I almost forgot to claim the Ripple in time. So that's 450. That's 450. That's 450. And then we get our Stardust, Stardust Incubator and Celebi Candy. Ooh, 20 Celebi Candy. And that's it for Mission 2. Very nice. So next up, hunting that Moltres shiny. I'll report when we get how many shinies, because I'll be the one that's driving around. So can't use my phone for recording during that time. Does that one count? No, no, that doesn't count. It's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> 